Okay, people. Just want to let you guys show you guys how to remove Linux Mint from your Triple Boot Mac um, Boot Camp Partition. The configuration was um, Mac OS X on one partition, Windows 7 on the other partition. Um, I have mine modded as Windows 8, but still Windows 7. And Linux Mint was installed through Mint 4 Win. But if you're finding, like me, that your Linux Mint install is fairly slow and laggy and the internet doesn't work very well, then this will work out for you. What you do is you, um, from here you go to Start, Control Panel, make sure you're in your Windows partition. It's kind of obvious, but then you go to Programs, click Uninstall a Program. Easiest thing. Just let it, everything load up here. Here, Linux Mint, right here. Just click it. Uninstall change. Then, so here we go, we're loading up. You are about to uninstall Linux Mint. Are you sure you want to uninstall? Uninstall. Remove bootloader entry. Linux Mint has been successfully uninstalled. See, boom, done, close. Now, you reboot your computer. Get a reboot and should just get your normal Mac and Windows bootloader option. Here we go. Alright, so your Mac and Windows, select Windows. Okay, here we go, I'll get my Windows flag on there. And then I should I shouldn't see the Microsoft Windows bootload manager. Oh, wait. So you got the Windows Boot Manager here. Um, if you have this, which you probably do, and you don't want to have to go through the bootloader when there's one OS, um, I'll show you. You download um, a program called EasyBCD from. Uh, it's free. You just Google it, and then once it's installed, Google. You go to Google and you go EasyBCD. You click on the first one and you download it. You and then I'll show you what to do. Oh, come on, there we are. So on the desktop here, I've got Easy BCD 2.0. Double click it. I'll include a link in the description to EasyBCD. Latest version is 2.0. Alright, so EasyBCD Toolbox. So here you're going to click Edit Boot Menu. And then Timeout Options. Just click Skip the Boot Menu. Click Save Settings. Here we go. It's gonna. It'll should give you something. Settings are safe, but I'm pretty sure it is. Bootloader settings saved successfully. All right, so now close. All right, just, just click no thanks. Um, Apple, and you go to restart. Now again, once we restart, we should have um, pretty cool. We should should be cool. There should be no more Windows Boot Manager. pop up, it should just boot right to Windows 7 or Windows XP or whatever when that's what you choose. I don't think Easy BCD works on Windows XP, just this then 7. So here we go. Start the computer, Windows. There. So should hopefully just boot right into the Windows partition. Here we go, just starting Windows, no more um, Mac, or no more Windows Boot Manager with just one option.
just, just kind of stupid to have it like that. So now here we are, we're starting Windows, and that should be um, all that's required. Thanks for watching.